We begin tonight with those area rivers on the rise. In Cedar Rapids, a lot of you who live near or drive near the river on your commute are watching very closely. The crest is expected tonight in Cedar Rapids at more than 17 feet. CBS2 news reporter Marissa Scott spoke with people who own houseboats at Ellis Harbor. She joins us live tonight with the latest information. Marissa. Matt, some folks who spend their summer days and nights on this water say that these water levels are the least of their worries. These boathouses will be the least of everybody's worries. One houseboat owner tells us these high water levels are nothing compared to 08. Damn it, I really like that stuff. That nice blue roof. The river was 15 foot higher than where we're standing right now. That's a world of difference. But even this fast flowing water brings these cabins closer together. Everybody just kind of says prayers. Of course, we all kind of stick together and help one another if we can. A community that McLeod says has each other's back during times like these. If I lost everything, I'd still, I'd try to build again. He was one of the lucky owners who didn't lose everything to the flood, but he's still keeping a watchful eye. I'm concerned because you just never know. But with newly installed commercial floats to keep these homes afloat, the city of Cedar Rapids isn't concerned about chasing down these houses this year. While it's frustrating, while it can cause some damage, you know, the rest of the year, the benefits of the river are pretty incredible to Cedar Rapids. A special thing that both houseboat owners and the city say won't be floating away. There's not that many harbors like this in the United States. I mean, at least not in Iowa. The National Weather Service is forecasting the Cedar River to drop below flood stage Friday. Reassurance that Cass won't have to worry his house may be downstream. The worst thing could happen, I guess, is uh, for somebody's house to, to come loose from the shore. Now, Cass says that the fireworks show is still on schedule for next week. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Marissa Scott, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you. The